Hey, Scott here. Scotty's Animals. <laughs> I'm with BB and the pigs, and I just wanted to say, you know, hang in there, everybody. I'm really lucky and grateful to have these sweet animals to keep me um, sane and, you know, as I mentioned before, caring for others is one way to step outside of your head and you know, stay sane and calm in these crazy times. And um, there was some rumblings back here that the piggies, especially the foster boys, they wanted to do something nice for you guys. And <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what it is, but they said that they wanted to work on a video. And I said, by all means, whatever I can do to help, they said, just give us your camera and will tell you when to upload it. So I'm gonna pass the camera now to my foster piggies and they've got a little special treat for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Here you go, boys. Guinea pigs read poetry. Hey, Pip Squeak here from Squeakers Animals. Today, we are going to be reading the poetry of Rumi. It's Dancing the Flame, original translations of short poems by Rumi. There will be a link to this book in the description. Here we go, let's read Dancing the Flame, the poetry of Rumi. Unknown existence, undiscovered beauty, that's how you are, so far, but one dawn, just like a sun, right from within, you will arise. In this earth, in this earth, in this immaculate field, we shall not plant any seeds except for compassion, except for for love. All the precious words you and I have exchanged have found their way into the heart of the universe. One day they'll pour on us like whispering rain, helping us arise from our roots again. I am so close to you, yet so far, so mixed with you, yet so alone. I've become known while disguised, so healthy, yet painful inside. I wish I knew who I were. I wish I knew my share in life. If I could only hear with clear ear, I would weep for me with a thousand eyes. How sad that I am alone in this odd time, sailing in a sea, seeing no shoreline, moving the boat in a grim dark night, in God's water, with God's grace. This earthly body of ours is the light of the heavens. Our agile flights are the envy of angels. One day the celestial bodies wish to have our pure souls. One day we are a daredevil who frightens a monster. For a while, I chose myself to adore. Losing me, in me, I deserved no more. It seemed I couldn't see myself, yet I knew. When I stepped out, then me and myself I beheld. Never say no one knows the way. Never say profound humans can't be found just because you're kept out of heaven's secrets. You think everyone is like you? I see healing in every pain. I see compassion in every rage. On the plains of the earth and in nine levels under the dome of vast heavens, I see only you in every stage. I am happy when I am sad. I am together when fallen apart. Like earth, when I am silent, I have thunder hidden inside. Happiness is to reach the next post every day, like flowing water, free from stillness and melancholy. Yesterday is gone and took away its tail. Today we must live a fresh story again. This being alone is worth more than a thousand lives around. This freedom is worth more than all the estates in the world. To be in solitude with God is more precious than life or belongings or whatever you've had. This human feature, designed and composed, is an impression tied to this grief-ridden animal stall, now a monster, now an angel, now being wild. Who knows what talisman is this bundle so tightly tied? This has been the poetry of Rumi, Dancing the Flame. Original translations of short poems by Nader Khalili. Who knew my boys were so poetic? <laughs> you know, another thing that's been keeping me sane is that you know, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, but I have all this space and, you know, I guess we all have a lot of space between each other. Um, but you know what? If you can, pick up the phone, you know, call somebody that you care about. Don't just send them a text because uh, I think that having an actual conversation can really, you know, we got to get back to a lot of the things that we lost in this digital revolution. Um, <laughs> you, one of the things that we lost is our DVD collections, you know, and for those of you that still have some, I'm sure they're coming in handy right now. Um, the streaming services are slowing down and 
you know, sure, I'm somebody that you guys know through the internet, through these virtual communities, but now more than ever, it's important to strengthen our physical communities and our uh, physical friendships with the people, with our neighbors, with, you know, people in our community. That's what's important. You know, of course, we've got to keep our safe distance until this thing passes, but it is times like these when we realize what's important, what's special, and what's worth fostering. So I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys have found that is special, that is really important. And, you know, let's take that conversation to the comments to the community and you know don't just tough this out alone we're not alone we have each other and I wish you guys sanity and peace and patience and and all the things that come with this really unprecedented situation that we find ourselves in <sighs> alright guys I'll see you soon.